How are you doing? James from RG here at JTEC. We're going to go over yeah. a little overview of the quad system here on this uh, International uh, 2012, the Max Force 11 engine. Uh, we're going to start here. The Corolla Reservoir. The Corolla Reservoir, check should be cold. You've got a couple of different levels on there. you got cold max, cold minimum. Um, and also for the type of coolant, you should always go off of whatever your owner's manual states for the environment that you uh, are operating in. This one here is a propylene Geico mix. Uh, coolant on this. And that's the chemical, some of the chemical makeup of it. Coolant cap used to be called a radiator cap, which actually used to be located on the radiator. Now it's on the, now it's on the uh, reservoir. And this one here is rated at 15 psi for an overpressure. So, the bottom of this, a little valve in there. If it were to stick, it allows it allows air movement in or out as it as the Temperatures expand, or the water expands, it allows air to escape out of there at 15, 15 psi. So if you start overheating, you're going to increase your psi rating of your air temperature inside your cooling system, and you're going to be blowing that off. Um, some other major components: radiator, located right up in here on the front of the vehicle. Um, it's a large fin uh, component. It has tubes serpentining through the vehicle, through the radiator. Coolant flows through there, there flow while driving down the road or from the two, uh, your varial speed uh, coolant fan in here while you're driving to maintain the 210 degrees. Air flows through that to maintain that temperature. Um, water pump. Water pump is located in front of the engine, belt driven. It's right up in here, right? Air compressor. Your AC compressor right here, your water pump is located right here. Your inlet valve is located off this forward tube, which comes up out of your, one of your tubes, out of your radiator, out of your uh, reservoir. Another tube here comes up out of the radiator, lower portion of it here. There's another larger radiator hose. It comes up off right up underneath. So there's a large radiator hose that dumps coolant, sucks coolant out of the radiator up into your engine, circulates it through the engine. On the front here, we can go over to a trainer here in a minute. On the front of the engine, there's two thermostats. They open up, tend to open up around the, uh, one of them opens up about 186, the other one open up about 191. And that allows fluid, coolant to flow out of the engine, into the radiator, and start circulating the system. There's a lot of other radiator hoses up off the top of the EGR system. Anyway, any of the excess pressure building up through there, lead back into the reservoir tank, up off the back of the engine, and there's your inlet right here, and then your exhaust out of here coming out of your heater core, which that heat is another small type radiator located in your air box, which then blows the heat when you uh, select the heating controls into your cap. Uh, there's also an engine oil cooler located up front here. Right here in the middle, there's a feed line coming right off the top here, off this manifold. It goes in and feeds through to help cool the engine oil. Um, you also you have engine oil lines that run up into that same radiator. Um, another component, the air compressor. The coolant also filters through that and helps also keep the air compressor, which controls your air, your, uh, your air brakes, your air controls on the truck. So let's walk over to the uh, trainer. We'll give a little bit front view of the engine. All right, this is a front view a cutaway of a lot of the components. Like I said, it's a belt-driven water pump located right here. The main inlet off the radiator comes in right through here. Some of the other inlets coming off to the sides and the front. The large manifold that would sit on that end right here, which controls the two, uh, two different thermostats. So what those thermostats do, they block the water the coolant flow right here. So that way the engine will circulate the coolant internally to itself. Once it reaches the operating temperatures of 186, it will start letting the bypass, slowly allowing air or water to filter into the radiator, allowing more water out of your radiator up into your pump. And as they reach full temperature, they'll open will full pull up, you'll have full flow through. But also through the manifold, Coolant is divided down in through, up into the bypass through here, up into your EGR system, shoots in the back. There you go, we have some of the other small hoses. Goes off the back of the uh, engine, right, back out of the EGR system right here, filters back in, so again, continue the loop. And, uh, 
this whole trainer's the majority of stuff uh, taken off. As, as I said, large fan will sit right here with the radiator right in front of it, maintaining that, and the serpentine belt will be the water pump right there. So it's important to maintain a good belt, a good belt. check it regularly, make sure it's uh, serviceable, so that way you're not uh, possibly overheating your engine. I hope that was a uh, so to talk a little bit about the cooling system on that on the international, thank you very much.